This is a driver 3.0. So it was my first time riding a Mayhem. Tested and everything. Super all round, literally any type of surfing style. So it's just preferences. Once this board goes into more powerful waves, it goes so. I'd say the hype is there. That's my semi-professional opinion on these two surfboards. Okay, so first we are in my stretching corner. We've got the Mayhem, the beautiful Mayhem. Yes, wax is already getting dirty. Don't know why it does that. So this board is super sick. First time ever in a Mayhem. Beauty to the sick. Ooh. So it was my first time riding a Mayhem. Nice weight. I was a little bit worried because it's got a little bit of a little bit thicker under the feet than my other board and my mats. But it goes really nice. Like if you see on my first wave, I was like going and I had so much drive off the bottom that I like fell backwards, lost balance. So that was something to get used to. And it goes pretty well. Tested and everything from the sick little beaches to this really cool little left. Even when it's big, like I took it out the other day and it was like six to eight foot maybe and it went perfectly. Yeah, I'm so excited. Try to see a JB though. Four to six foot. This thing would be insane. Really enjoy this board. If you want to go with Mayhem, highly recommended. Beautiful board. Jason Rubik, thank you very much for this thing. Okay, and now this is the other board. Yes, it's got no wax on. Put the wax off for the busting surf mitts. Go check it out. So this board was very different to this board. This one's a little bit thinner. As you can see. So like I rode this, I rode the Mayhem, then it popped on this board. And I was like, they go pretty much the same. That one's a little bit more foam under the feet, which I wasn't really used to, I had to get used to. Got really nice drive. Oh, they're pretty much, pretty much similar weights. <laughs> Lol, they pretty much weigh the same. So they pretty much weigh the same. This one's just got a little bit thinner web rails, which I really enjoy. So it just cuts through the wave a little bit more, so especially if it's a little bit choppier. This board goes so well. Just love these mat boards I've been riding, riding. But personally, I think that this board went just as well as this. Yes, it is a little bit heavier, but I enjoy the personally, I enjoy that myself. So it's just preferences. But yeah, this mat board just goes really well. Like you can see on the waves, it just holds so nicely. All around epic board. That, and that 10 foot wave, that big one, this one, that was on my 511. That was similar to this one. It had it was a little bit thicker, more foam under the feet. That was a 511 that I rode that on. That was probably the scariest wave of my life. It was so big that it didn't feel like a wave. I was felt like I was like skiing down something. Yeah. And then the leash that I use. This is a uh, nine foot. It is thick, like chicken. I know that it's probably not gonna snap. I bailed a few times on this thing and it's fine. I think it is a little bit too long. May need to get a shorter 9 mil leash. So yeah, I really enjoy that surfboards. Check them out if you're in South Africa. Then the last man, this is a driver 3.0. Beautiful board. So it was cool to test out and see what the hype's all about. I'd say the hype is there. They are really good. Eight and nine, so very similar. So yeah, those are the two boards. Okay guys, this is my mat surfboard. Um, I got in the HOD model. Got this pretty cool design on it, and I mean, I got this board in a 510. Um, I'm not gonna go into the dimensions exactly, it's a secret. This board is super drivey, and I've literally ridden it in any size conditions from the one foot tiny beach I would say pretty big JB. One thing I like about this board is it's super all round board, literally any type of surfing style. It is more of a high performance board made for high performance waves, high performance surfing. So it's, I wouldn't recommend it for beginner surfers, but definitely if you're trying to take your surfing to the next level. So that's the mat surfboard that I have. This is the main that I got recently. To be honest, it is pretty under volume for me, just a tiny bit, but it's a squash tail driver 2.0, not the 3.0. This board is super, super sick, but it's definitely made for more to the medium to bigger size waves. So it does create its own speed on, I would say, on the big waves. So you need to rely on the bigger waves to get lots of speed with it. But this board is also super sick, super high performance as well, high performance short board. Okay, if I had to compare the two, um, the one similarity that I would give is that they're both very high performance boards. Um, obviously, everyone knows they may have a 2.0. But to be honest, if I'm comparing the two, I do prefer the map to the Mayhem. Um, I just 
the, uh, the bat has just been growing so much better for me in all the type of conditional ways I've been serving recently from beach breaks to point breaks to barreling waves. <laughs> Yeah. Yana, so out of the two, I, would, I definitely prefer my mat. I'm not too sure if it is maybe because this maim is a bit under volume for me. Um, that might be the reason because once this wave, once this board goes into more powerful waves, it goes so nicely. It is so jivey when it needs to be jivey and so loose when it needs to be loose. Um, it's both of them are such good all-round high-performance short boards. Um, and yeah, that's that's my semi-professional opinion on these two surfboards hopefully that helps you guys from picking out your new surfboard up and yeah maybe see a few of you in the water soon Yo, cheers Jackpot, but I guess it's falling through At least I still have 